you have a <laughs> Watch yourself. You drunk on pistols, love? Look where you're going! To America, asshole!
position of right, bitch. You're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean... How many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Laszlo's a liar, Laszlo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo-boo, stick your head in doo-doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything. And you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponzer Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sis-
of my way, man. I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools and you shut down the problem. No more dead teachers, no more angry students. Well, but you don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot, but you know what? It costs even more. I mean, shoes, books, toys, that's a tiny person. Pets, that sort of crap. It's all about me. Well, not my Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. If the street was hot and how to clean the bathroom, if you left so much as one hair on the stove, it was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed a hungry only 20, gave it 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch in bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days, his kid's too big to be chipped, so now he's a Seven and he's making magic, he's 23 
my life, flashing before my eyes. <laughs> I remember that. That was funny. can't say I have. Well, you ought to try it sometime. I tell you, man, it's good eating possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. Cooks up pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes they come with notes attached. It's like...
inside of you. This is the part where I kick your ass.
Bang, bang, bang! Bang, 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 bang! Don't be a bully! Still. You're amazing, baby. Okay, let's go. Sure, here go my number. Silence! Stand still. Thanks, baby. You better not have no crap. Stand still. Stand still. Chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormitron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormitron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormitron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember. I'm the king. I'm a I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The nip Those. It will be a miracle. Uh huh? Of course, it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy and Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question? Hey, okay, thanks. Go, call me. Oh! Stand still. Sweet dreams. 
Stand still. Call me soon. Stand still. Still. Stand still. Stand still. 